As the city of Lowell came into being, Americans were drinking more alcohol than ever before. In this climate, some early Llewellyans started taking temperance pledges and forming societies to encourage total abstinence from alcohol. Through groups such as the Cold Water Army, some women used the temperance movement as an outlet for power and organizing. In later years, temperance groups were also often aligned with suffrage clubs. In Lowell, the Women's Christian Temperance Union and the Equal Suffrage League were neighbors and allies. Temperance finally had its day on January 16, 1919, when the 18th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution was ratified. Most people rejected the idea of a dry society and prohibition was repealed in 1933. Nonetheless, Americans today, on average, drink less than a third of what they did in 1830.